Hey guys, so I'm nearly a year into TSW and I still look pretty bad. Like I'm in a setback period and I don't, I'm not in a really good place and it's making me think of like, I guess other options, like maybe I should be open to other options like using medication safely. Um, of course, I won't be going back to steroids, but there are other options like Dupixent and like Rinvoke. Um, and when I thought about that, I remembered the, the whole reason why I stopped using steroids and decided to go through TSW is because I didn't want to go through TSW when I fall pregnant in the future because um, I knew that I had to go through it um, sooner or later and obviously when you become pregnant you'll have to stop using the steroid creams and I would naturally go through TSW and I didn't want that so I wanted to get it over and done with so that's my whole reason why I'm doing this now and when you think about it there are medications um, that you can use during pregnancy so that ticks um, that box right and I've been like talking to my parents about this and like sharing my opinion and they've shared their opinion and my dad mentioned something um, which was an interesting um, point of view like I didn't think of think of it that way but um, I thought it was interesting so I wanted to share with you guys so he was like just like how we all need water to survive some people need medication to survive um, and you know in this world right now like we all live with medication it's not like it's a hundred years ago where you don't have access to medication and people die at like around the age of 50, 60. Um, so medication is something that we all live along with and using it safely and appropriately um, wouldn't cause much of a problem. And when you think about the pros and cons, like going through this is so hard and it takes a whole it takes your whole life away and I've been like this for a year I have to quit my job I can't go out without covering my face it's really stuffed up my self-confidence I can't sleep at night it's so itchy there's so many cons um, and if medications like Dupixent or Rimvoke or other medications um, I'm not aware of right now but if those medications can make going through TSW easier then why am I not taking that option because I'm so strictly um, committed to doing it 100% natural and well, I, I was committed to doing 100% natural then I stopped for a second and said, but why do you want to do that? Because my number one reason, like I said before, um, of like stopping steroids is because I didn't want to go through TSW during pregnancy. That's what I've been thinking about lately. Like I've been too strict on myself about doing everything 100% natural and sometimes you need a bit of medication and what's important is that you use those medications safely and appropriately. Um, so I'm going to see a doctor on Monday. It's actually my first time ever seeing a doctor during TSW. I didn't want to go because I've heard too many stories about people getting um, dismissed about TSW getting told that it's not a thing and just being told that it's just to be eczema and that the only option is steroid creams. I don't want that. Like I'm not, not, I know that not all doctors are like that, but I've just heard too many stories. I found a list of doctors that um, support TSW on the Itzen website 
and they had one in Sydney. So I'm gonna go see her on Monday and ask her about the medication options and how it all works and if I can use that um, without having to go through the rebounds if I um, ever need to stop using it and whatnot. So I'm really excited to see her <clears throat> and hopefully that um, hopefully those medications can help me a lot and and hopefully they don't cause rebounds and things like that because I'm so sick of having weepy skin just having just having to look like this a year on is so disheartening like I had so much hope at the beginning of TSW that I would be healed by like a year mark or at least close to being healed and I look like um, where I was at the, s the first few months of TSW. So yeah, um, I feel like something I need to focus on is to be kind to myself and not to be too strict about one thing because I tend to do that a lot. I'm a perfectionist and once I decide to do things naturally, I just go all out and forget that there are other options um, and you know you just gotta like think about the pros and cons of everything and not do everything all at once like 120% um, which I tend to do with a lot of things um, so I think that's one of the lessons that I'm learning through this condition so yeah I'll update you guys about how my appointment goes after Monday. Bye guys. Hey everyone, so I just came back from my dermatology appointment. Um, it went really well, like the doctor was really really nice. She personally didn't believe in TSW but she was really respectful of my beliefs and I asked her if I can go on to Pixent and she said that I can but before then I she wanted to see my blood work so I'm gonna get blood work done tomorrow and get and then I'm gonna go back and see her on Monday and hopefully get Dupixent arranged for me to take so yeah things are going in the right direction and I hope it works so I'm at the emergency room at the hospital I'll explain to you guys how I got here later on. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I Hey everyone Surprise, I'm in the hospital so I got admitted to the hospital yesterday and um, they were really busy and they didn't have a bed so I was waiting for like 12 hours and then um, so I am I'm in a private room now um, my dinner just came in and they have a shower and a toilet um, so what happened was I went to the dermatology on Ma Monday, so yesterday, and to get Dupixent. And the dermatologist was really worried about my infection on my face and my chest and how I didn't moisturize. So, because my, um, my whole body was looking really, really dry. And she wanted me to like do wet wraps. And so then she she suggested I get admitted to the hospital. I said I don't I didn't want to, but then she was really, really worried about my infection and how it might go into my blood and cause serious um, illness. And I thought, yeah, maybe that is a risk and I didn't want to risk my life. So 
I agreed to go to the hospital and that's where I am now. Um, so with the wet wraps, I know it's like totally opposite of what I was doing because um, I was basically doing moisture withdrawal where you don't put moisturizer at all. Um, and wet wraps are where you put moisturizer all over your body and wrap your whole body um, to secure the moisture. And usually they use a steroid cream to do the wet wrap. So they put the steroid cream and then secure the wet wrap, the dressing on. But I strictly said I didn't want any steroids on me or in me. And, and um, they said, okay, we can um, use as non-steroid cream, which, yeah. So they said they can use this thing called Epiderm ointment, which is a steroid-free um, moisturizer. It's a pretty thick consistency. And when, and when I requested the steroid free ointment, they didn't have it at the hospital because they never use that. They always use a steroid cream to do wet wraps. So they have to order it in. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm really glad that they gave me the option. Um, so just then I had a whole shower. Um, the nurse told me to take a shower and put the epiderm cream all over my body. I was really scared to do it because I hadn't moisturized my whole body in a year. And I usually go in baths, but I have hadn't had a shower, a proper shower in months and months because it hurt. And I don't know, like, I don't know why, but I really had this fear towards showers. Um, bathing was okay in a tub but the showers just freaked me out and um i could only like just shower um my legs but today i just did i just showered my whole body head to toe and i'm really proud of myself for doing it and the reason why i decided to follow the instructions and just go with um the opposite of what i was doing before is because I've been a year into what I was doing and I still definitely believe, believe in topical steroid withdrawal but I, recently I was thinking maybe the moisture withdrawal isn't working as isn't going to work well like of course at times especially at the beginning of my TSW journey I needed the moisture withdrawal because my body was burning and it was just hot and the moisturizer was causing the itch and the burning sensation so I really needed to stop using it so that my skin could calm down and it really worked at the time and I think that our skin has phases and at the time I needed to stop using the moisturizer but I think um, during my journey I slowly healed and shifted to a phase where I needed moisturizer and I still wasn't giving it to my body and I, start, I started thinking about um, how beneficial it could be if I moisturized but I was scared to reintroduce it because I was going months without still um, months without the moisturizer and I was scared how my body was going to react but I'm supervised now in the hospital and I thought I'm just going to follow their um, like protocol and see what happens. Like it's worth giving it a try because I've tried my way of doing it um, for a whole year and it hasn't gotten me to the place I want to be. So I want to try a different approach and that's why I decided to go ahead with the vet wrap um, method. So yeah, I moisturized my whole body after so long. It's been like a year. So I'm not looking very crusty at the moment. It's nice and moisturized. And surprisingly, it didn't burn or like sting or anything at all. I expected some kind of reaction, but 
I was fine. The shower was really like bad because it stung so much, especially my neck and my whole body basically. But after that, the moisturizing um, step wasn't bad at all. So yeah, I will update you guys on how Oh, I'm gonna stay here for a few nights. So I'll update you guys on how I am throughout the time here at the hospital. Yeah, my boyfriend's just coming over now and we're gonna have dinner together. So yeah. Today is day two of being at the hospital. Um, so at the hospital, I get wet wraps done for my skin um so the procedure of it is i take a sh warm shower to open up the pores which stings so bad because i have like really small scratches on my face and my chest you can't really see them but they're like really tiny scratches all over so the water stings so much but i just, just do it and um so i I take the shower and then I slather up my body with epidermal ointment and then they do the wet wraps for me. Um, my whole body um, from my neck down and and then um, I'm also taking antibiotics at the moment for my infection which is looking a lot better. It's less weepy um, and I'm also taking cyclosporin which is an immunosuppressant um the aim is to transition onto dupixent and um the doctor wanted me to try cyclosporin first and it was a medication it's a steroid free medication um and it was something that i was looking into as well so i was really open to try that um so yeah Hopefully, I'll get Dupixent soon. I just filled out a form, a scoring sheet for Dupixent. So, fingers crossed, I get that soon. This is my dinner. I'm low-key enjoying my hospital stay. My mum visited today and that's her squatting down so she won't be in the video. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time I see this video. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hello.